Hello folks, this is Vagrant, we're back playing Animal Crossing. And yeah, I woke up quite late today. <laughs> Elise has moved in, very cool. We'll have to go meet her. So I've actually gone through and... Um, I went through and placed all the plots I could place. Tom will no longer let me place any more camping plots, or the new house plots, over on that side. So, I think the idea now is that we just kind of wait and people are going to move in, and we can also invite people that we meet on other islands, which is something I did last night as well. We have mail, which is exciting. I can't access it because I've put a bloody fence in the way. <laughs> I actually can't get there, okay? Let's take that out. Oh, we got, oh, it's my stuff from uh, my garbage can, and now dot table, I bought both of those last night. And also a message from Nook Inc. A new resident moves to a plot you set up, we've put a thousand Nook miles. So remember you mentioned, you're going to have to spend the 10k, but if someone moves in, you will get some miles in return. It looks like we're going to get 1,000 per time, which is, it's, it's okay, it's okay. I was hoping for a bit more. Right, on we go then. It's a beautiful new day. The apples are sprung up everywhere. The cherries are sprung up. We're going to sell all of those for immense profit. <laughs> Hornsby, how you doing, buddy? Mornings are neat, Hornsby. It's barely the morning, but... Wait. What am I giving him? I'm not giving him anything. Oh, Hornsby, I'm sorry. Let's chat, let's just chat. <laughs> Schnuzzle. Okay, so I said yesterday we were gonna, basically my plan is, we're still gonna do our daily check-ins with our three different shops, but then we're gonna, we're gonna take it chill. We're, we're not gonna worry too much, much about everything else, we're gonna go fishing. So, as you can see, I was rather busy last night. One, two, three, four, five, six, I have 68 pieces of fish bait. And the idea is we're going to turn it all into pier fish. We're going bloody fishing. <laughs> we're going to get a pier fish. It's going to work. There we go. We have a lot of uh, nook miles right now. Uh, one of the ones I got last night was for farming 100. I actually farmed... Basically, there's a nook miles milestone for farming 50 clams. There's also a nook miles milestone for farming 100 clams. And I got both of them last night. <laughs> Country fence. Oh, I like that. We don't have that one. Let's grab that one. I can't resist my fences. I can't. I've got like eight recipes now. And I will never need eight fence recipes. But what if I do? <laughs> Resistance is futile. Look at it whapping away in the background. <clears throat> I think there's anything else we need from this one. I'd like to check the colours. I'm wondering if maybe they change on a weekly cycle. Or... But I suspect not. I suspect I'm doomed to my Red Godzilla forever. Okay, we need to check on the, uh, look, shopping. Special goods, what do we- Oh! <gasps> yes! Amazing. Alright, we've only got a table. Oh my god, that is, a, that is incredible. That is so- that is so good. That is so good. Hoi! We don't have KK Waltz, do we? I don't think so. Here we go, take all my money on useless stuff I'll never use. Fantastic. Good stuff. And I don't think we need to check in with the ABD, so we are good for the day. Now, we need to go check in with the kids. we got to check on our turnips, and it's 11.50. Reminder that the turnip price actually changes at midday. So, in this video, we'll actually be able to see two different turnip prices. Also, what's going on with my, uh, what are my dailies? Oh, there's a times five. Earn bells by selling items, nice and easy, really good one to get. Couch fish, nice and easy. Complete day away, nice and easy. Access your wardrobe and change your look, nice and easy, and hit rocks, nice and easy. Good stuff. Oh, sorry. I'm not sorry. I could have sold you for money. Oh, egg tree. You know, no, we're, we're by the shop. Don't get distracted. We're being efficient today. We're going to the free shops, and then we're going fishing. That's what we're doing, okay? All right, kids. What is that? Is that a urinal? A squat toilet. I am not interested in the squat toilet. I am interested in that giant though. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm obviously buying it. I realise I don't really care about my bells that much. Um, I'm relying on the... Uh... What is that? Is it an incense burner? Oh, your lamp. Yeah. Do I want that? I need a better look at it. Does it turn on? You know what? It's dead cheap. We'll get it anyway. 
and then it goes into my catalog. Honestly, if anything's ever super cheap, you should buy it just so it fills in the catalog and you work towards your, your miles credits. And you never know when you'll want these things in the future. No, 290 bells is nothing. Absolutely nothing. It means nothing. Money means nothing to me. And how much was the squat toilet? <sighs> Go on then. It makes me feel dirty. I should probably use the squat toilet. Right! Hello, kids! First of all, turnip prices. I checked last night. They were. F oh my god, it's even worse! <laughs> they were like 45 last night. I was like, wow, that's insanely low. And now they're 39! No. That's incredible. Well, we can check again in like eight minutes and hopefully we'll find a new one now. I've been busy getting lots of eggs and stuff, so if we go on our seasonal recipes, you'll see here. Uh, basically, when you collect a certain number of the an egg, you unlock a shell, an outfit, which I think is a hat, by the way. You unlock the hat, the outfit, and the shoes, right? And this makes a whole outfit. So I've got the water one, I've got the wood one, I've got the leaf one, I've got the stone one. I'm still missing the earth one, so the one that we have to dig up. And the sky one, the one that we knock out of the sky. I think you need about 13 or so eggs before the outfits unlock. I don't quite know for sure, but we're going to end up making all of these because we kind of have to. <laughs> the idea is hopefully to build absolutely everything in the list. Now, oh, look at the back, though. That's no, all awful. It's all, don't get distracted. You hate it all. They want me to make a... Oh, I got a scarecrow as well. How cool is that? I actually really like this guy. I'm excited about the scarecrow. They want me to make a brick oven for the hot item of the day. I just don't think that's... Huh. I keep getting these garbage recipes. I actually quite like that one. We can do the scene from the office. Oh, that is a brick oven. Clay, iron nugget, wood. I've got to imagine they sell for a decent amount. We may make some of those. We may turn our clay into moolah. <clears throat> did I get anything new in my... Oh, I did. I did. I got one new thing. Nothing that exciting. Uh, the goby, which we'd already even donated because uh, Beth had done it already. And isn't unique to April or something. I just happened to have never caught one. And But I did get a new butterfly, which is unique to this month. Or oh, what well, came this month. Is it this one? Raja Brooks. Yeah, that one right there. It's cool. It's pretty. Right. What have we got? We got a new one. We gotta get my umbrellas. Gotta get my umbrella. I'm sure it does, kids. I'm sure it does. White brick wall, I like that one. I, I like a few of these. It's a pretty good selection. I like the green. Eventually, the idea, honestly, is for the house to be very stylish, you know, very modern, but with a little bit of that rustic museum-esque charm to it, which is kind of my personal aesthetic in a way. <laughs> so, anything that kind of suits that, I think, we end up picking up. That'd be really nice for a kitchen eventually, that slate flooring. Maybe the slate with that, actually, that might be quite nice. Anyway, that'll do. I'm actually really big on domain theory design. It's weird as that might sound. I don't know when it became a thing, but it is. You wouldn't think it looking at my current room. <laughs> I actually started, funnily enough, yeah, I'm saying we're doing this museum theme, kind of like a mix of metal and wood and glass and brick. So I always like a smattering of new materials in with the old. Um, my current bedroom I live in, I can't repaint it or anything, so it's hard for me to do much because, you know, it's a rented shared flat. But I very much went for a similar idea. You know, I bought like a new bookcase ages ago now, like nearly a year ago now, but it all suits that kind of aesthetic, you know? Do I sound like a dick? <laughs> Alright, let's talk to Mabel once to Sable. Oh, she talked to me two lines that time. I've talked to her, I think, four days in a row now. Let's check what we got on the daily docket. To be fair, what else did I get? I got a clock, which is like metal. And... <gasps> cowboy shirt. Okay, we're getting a cowboy shirt. We're not getting a fuzzy chest vest. We're not getting a texture because it just. That's a very typical 12 year old style, right there. <laughs> uh, which cowboy shirt do we like the most? I mean, we could buy multiple, although not right here. I think that one is more classic, right? Color wise. Although, oh no, I do like the waistcoat though. It's really annoying that I can't buy multiple of these at the same time. I like that one. 
The pants are getting better. I mean, it's not the right... I still want that colour and that kind of design, but that's a step in the right direction. I'm looking very stylish. Gamer headset. DJ cap. <laughs> it looked like such a weirdo. I love it. What on earth is... No. Okay, I think what we're going to do is just every day we're going to have like an entirely new outfit from the stuff that I buy in this shop. Because why not, basically? God, I'm spending a fortune. The shoes are the one thing I really just never touch. I'm always happy with the ones I've got, and the ones that they try to sell me are always bizarre. We can do that. That's pretty cool. Other than they here. Uh, I like it. Let's go for it. <clears throat> Take all of my money, please. <laughs> I look like a baller. <laughs> We're just going to buy an outfit every day. It's a total humongous use of my money, but like I said, I don't think the money's actually that big a deal. Right, three minutes until... <laughs> I actually love that hat, though. That's amazing. It's just, the, only, the only thing I wouldn't wear here is the goggles, you know? Oh, hello, cheeky. Oh, hello, double cheeky. Right, I'm going to grab you because you're worth quite a bit. Come here. Come here. Might as well wrap it in the area. Let's pop open this little thing here. See what we get. Nice. Okay. Oh, hello. I mean, I might as well grab the butterfly. I think, again, that's worth a decent chunk. Hey. Hey. Thank you. <laughs> Nobody resists the net. And we got a message in a bottle. I have some stuff. Have a recipe. Infused water dispenser. Like a Brita filter? <laughs> oh no, that's not an infused water dispenser, is it? Grab some eggs. These are definitely the most common eggs, these ones right here. Which is totally fine, because like I say, we can trade them in for other eggs on the last day. Um, I will do a few ha fruit harvests, but I'll do it on my own time, because that's not exciting. And we're here to go fishing, folks. We're here to go fishing. I need that. I need that. Come here. Thank you. I did put down more fence, as you can see. It's actually not really helpful. It makes it very difficult to move about in my house. Um, I really only did it because... Um, <clears throat> May, um, Mabel? <laughs> Annabelle. Annabelle? <laughs> What's her name again? I actually can't remember. She suggested that I need more fence on my island, basically, to make it more attractive to guests. So I decided to put more fence down. Do, 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 do. So much stuff. But, gotta fill that storage in. Gotta learn that. And whilst we're here, we'll go um change our outfit for our uh Nook Mouse challenge thingy. <laughs> Can you not tell that I'm into home deco? <laughs> it's beautiful. Alright, so I just want to see how this works. So I just click that. I'm done. So that then count? It should count for one, right? Oh, both. Okay. No idea how that works. Oh, it's the time. You only have to do it once, but it's the time too. I'm being dumb. Okay, cool. Alright, let's go get some fish. I look like I'm a fisherman. I look like I'm ready to fish. Let's do it. I look like a fancy DJ. Or, you know what I look like, funnily enough, so... Um, oh, actually, we're going to go back and check the turnip prices. Then we're going to fish. Um, at my old university in Wales, one of many universities I went to, <laughs> um, we did a like this big end of year party. Uh, the May Ball. And Hornby, you've changed. And... Um, Everyone, you know, suited up, and waistcoats, three-piece suits, all this kind of jazz, and all the girls, you know, really nice dresses or suits or whatever they wanted. And um, we did a silent disco, obviously. I, everyone's wearing headsets and the music's blasting, but there's no music actually in the room. It's always fun. I, I, I always like a silent disco. 
But everyone was like really well dressed up. Oh my god, what's going on? 35? Wait, what day is it? It's Friday. Wait, did I say it was Saturday? It's Friday. I've only got a day left. If the prices aren't good tomorrow, I'm in trouble. They've never been over like 105 all week. So I've been holding out. If ugh, I didn't realize time had flown this quickly as well. I've only got a day left to sell my turnips. If tomorrow they're over 100 at any point, I'm, I'm taking it. And what I'm hopefully also going to do is find someone else who I can kind of... Um, if you go to someone else's island and they've got a better price, you can sell on their island as well, right? So we may have to do that, honestly. Because this is this is this is getting worrying. I've been relying on it all week for my money. And I'm just I'm just not getting anything. Oh well. Got some new people? Let's meet. I don't know who this is. I actually don't. Unless I do. Let's see if I recognize him. I definitely do not recognize you. Hello. You seem nice at least, but you also seem you you're an you're an odd one. <laughs> Visually, you're a bit strange. Oh, my, both of my new guests are very strange. Now we can actually invite people. There's a bird coming called Tweety, I believe it is. Yeah, Twiggy. So if we go to another island, i.e. we use a Nook Master Kit, you see this plot here hasn't been sold. We should be able to sell that plot or give it away or whatever to somebody else. So Twiggy will move in tomorrow and then my new person will move in the day after. And then I think our population will actually be high enough. And all we have to do is decorate the island after that. But that's not what we're here for, folks. Today is a fishing day. So I'm not going to lie, folks, um, the fishing kind of went terribly. I did actually go and uh, fish all six of my baits and I recorded it. And I just kept screwing up over and over again. Not only did I not find a marlin and not find a tuna, but I just kept messing up the fishing. And I ended up getting sort of like really frustrated with myself. And it was against the wholesome ethos that does personify Animal Crossing so well. So... I decided to chill for a little bit. I've kept the first half of this video, and now we're going to do a second second half. And I went back and I I farmed up another 60 fish bait yet again. <laughs> the actual farming isn't necessarily the problem. It's the crafting, because you can't mass craft. You have to do each one individually. But I've got another 60. I also found a new butterfly, uh, which I will show off. Here, look. Ta-da! Beautiful. So we're going to go. We're going to do some fishing. Now, we are only looking for the blue marlin and for the tuna okay we're looking for the big boy fish all the other fish we're not that interested in and we're going to be scaring them away i've got four fishing rods i've got 60 bait let's go come on let's do some fishing so if it's not big which that isn't we just simply scatter the food again you should scare it away and spawn a new fish this is a nice quick way of sort of flying through the fish until you find the one that you want and, see, one th like, I'm pretty sure that's not big enough, but I feel like it's big enough that I'm not willing to take the risk, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like I have to go for it. Also, it'd be good to sort of be in the in the mood for fishing a little bit, you know, like, had a little practice before the, the proper fish comes out. I knew I knew that wasn't big enough. That wasn't even sea bass size. That was squid size, which I did. I actually underrated a little bit. All right, come on, back to work. Come on. Come on. This is it. That's... That's a moderately big fish. I think it's a size 5 rather than rather than a size 6, but that is uh, worth a shot, in my opinion. Let's grab this bad boy. There we go. Nearly went for it then. <laughs> I am going to not talk. When the, fish, when the fish bit's going on, I'm not going to talk, because it does require some vague concentration. And I have lost a couple of fish in the past, which looked like potential size sixes. Nope. In theory, you could catch every single fish here. Um, and obviously that'd be good for money, it'd be good for your fishing skills and your your miles challenges. But it would also take a lot longer. And really, we're only here looking for two fish baits specifically. If I wanted to fish for money, I wouldn't have gone and farmed all the bait. We're trying to get very specific fish here. 
That is a big fish. Is that a size 6 or a size 5? It's probably a sea bass. It's always a sea bass. It's a, it's a flounder thingy. Flat guy. That was a sea bass. I think my controllers are dying a little bit. The vibration is less intense. That's my excuse. <sighs> That's... Is that a bigger... I don't know. I can't tell. Everything's a bloody sea bass, but it always looks a little bit bigger initially. I'm sure it's a sea bass. It's always a sea bass. I'm a little worried though. By the end of this set of bait, if we don't have a tuna and a blue marlin, I'll have spent 120 bait pieces on farming these two fish. And if we don't have them, the amount of time I'm going to have to spend farming this thing is insane. It really is. Because they're both rare fish that only spawn in one location. This one. And I will say, in terms of farming fish, the pier is literally the worst location in the game. Because it's very hard to get things to spawn here. Uh, the river mouth isn't great either. That's a pretty bad one. That and the pier are both pretty terrible. To the point where bait really is the best way to do it. Come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> Please, game. Okay, okay, oh, that's promising, I think. That looks promising to me. What do we think? Do we think that's a six? You know what? They look huge initially, and then now I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, well, maybe that's just a sea bass, but let's find out, I guess. You're gonna, there we go. Of course. It will happen eventually. It'll happen eventually. It'll happen eventually. We're a quarter of the way through so far. It's like in football, you know, where you desperately need a goal and you keep looking at the time left remaining and kind of ca calculating your odds of getting the goal in that time. They're all small. I want a big fish. No. That's a quick five we just burned through and got absolutely nothing for. <clears throat> I'm, I'm genuinely worried about... Uh, that's, not, that's not it. No. I'm worried about the, the massive time investment this might require, you know? <laughs> if this 60, 120 doesn't get us it, then... Okay, yeah, there's some promise on this one. Some promise there. Kind of being a pain in the ass, but that's okay. Whoa. Be good? Should be good, yeah. It's, just, it's not. I know it's not. I can feel it in my bones. We're looking for one bigger. I think it's going to be noticeable. I really do. I keep seeing the sea bass size and thinking, oh, that could be. I think that's a four. Right there. That's a four. That's a four. That's a four. <laughs> that's a, probably a five. So it's probably a sea bass or a flounder. But it could be a six. It's not. It's, it's, I'm pretty sure it's a 5. But when it's a 5, I don't want to take the risk. Because the difference between the 5 and the 6 is actually really small. I think you can see how this one is noticeably bigger than the two that I just threw away before this. It's a very clear size difference. But I think the difference between 5 and 6 is smaller than that. This is a flounder or a... It's always a flounder or a sea bass at 5. I don't think there's anything else at the moment. Oh, we're nearly halfway. No. No. Okay, again, probably a five, but has some potential. I can't turn down a five, just in case I make a mistake. So we're going to end up with a lot of sea bass. <laughs> oh, how have you not seen that, you cheeky little blighter? Come on. Bing bong. Is it five o'clock? Must be five o'clock. Wow. Okay, that was quick. <laughs> um, I suspect slightly that um, you know that I mentioned that problem where the the music is out of tune or out of time because my voice is coming in late. I think that means the sound is coming out late from the thingy, so I think the sound the fishing makes is a little bit later than it would be if I was playing the game normal methods. 
Um, which worries me a little bit. I don't want to lose like a... I, I think that was a 5, not a 6, but I don't want to lose a potential 6. Just because I can't hear properly, you know? Come on. If I throw 6 debate at this and I don't even get... Again, I think it's a 5, but I can't take that risk. Come here. One of these days. So this should be a Flander or a Sea Bass. I'm going to go with Bass. <laughs> oh, crikey. Come on, 25 to go. Only just halfway, you know. There's this potential still for greatness. There's always potential for greatness. Tell you what, potential for greatness right there. You never know, folks. You never know. That's not hit, has it? <clears throat> Kill up. Hoorah. Again, it's probably sea bass, you know? No, it's an ore fish. Also not at all helpful, but it is worth a lot, at the least. I will say, I felt the vibration was a little higher that time, but it didn't size-wise look particularly bigger than the five, did it? I think this is a five. But it's interesting just how small the difference is. It'd be nice if it was more noticeable, particularly for the big sizes. Bass. At least we caught an oarfish. I don't want an oarfish, but at least we caught an oarfish. It's worth a lot. I think. It's like an 8k or something fish. It's just... Like, the actual what I'm doing is fairly chill and relaxed, and I'm, I'm fairly chill about the whole situation. My worry is just the sheer amount of bait I'm going to have to farm. I really don't want to have to farm with, like, 500 pieces of bait just to get these two fish. And the problem is that it's two of them as well, you know? It's not just one fish I'm trying to get here. It's literally two different fish. And the fact that I haven't even seen one in 120 bait is insane, you know? Am I, I, and then you start getting this worry. Oh, maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe it's the wrong time of day. Now, as far as I know, both the tuna and the blue marlin are all day fish in April. You know, they should be here all day long. And I know I've seen someone catch a tuna at night time. And I've seen someone catch a tuna in the daytime. Redo that one. But you can't help it, you just get a little bit paranoid, you know? Founder? <laughs> That's a worrying sign that I can call that. <laughs> oh, 14 left for three quarters of the way through. I'm sad now, guys. I really am. That's a pretty big fish. Sea bass. Oh wow, I got that wrong. I feel stupid. Twelve to go. Come on, game, please. Ooh, ooh, potential, potential. That feels like a big one. Just please reward me for my amazing patience in getting all that bloody clam. The vibration's quite low. It's a five. Yeah. <clears throat> and the thing is, I'm looking at all these fish and they're the exact same size. I'm like, oh, but that's a big one. And they're not. They're all the same size. But the difference between the five and the six... I, I didn't realise the ore fish was particularly large. It was definitely big enough to go for. But was it... Did it look massive compared to the other fish? Not really. So... Oh, that's, that's not... No, I'm just not going to bother. It's a four. No... Um, No. This is sad. Okay. Again, I think that's a five, but I'm not going to take that risk. Oh, I am, because I'm going to click stupid. It was a five, but that was stupid. <laughs> oh, this is another. That's an invisible ghost fish. Amazing. Please. <laughs> If not, I'm going to have to find an alternate tactic for this, because I, I don't know if I can bring myself to go through the clam farming yet again, you know? On the plus side, 
I do have all month, you know? We only need to get these by the end of April. So, <clears throat> if I take a week off from clam hunting, and then maybe gather up a couple hundred and try again, that would be okay. <clears throat> Although I would go insane, so... Home was I talked. Bass? Flounder again. If it's flounder day, I usually get a lot more sea bass. Maybe it's come on the pier. Oh, too low. Oh. Mm, I only got one cool fish, and it's not even a cool fish I wanted. <laughs> the problem with the pier as well, and what makes it so difficult, is not only are you looking for a fish that spawns in a very specific location, but all the other ocean fish, like the sea bass, will also spawn in the same area. So the chances of finding the actual fish you want are, are genuinely like immensely low. Imagine, just imagine if the last one. Imagine. I nearly clicked. Nearly. It's a bloody flounder, I'm sure. Or a sea bass. There's always a flounder or a sea bass. Okay, well, that is a hundred and twenty. And perfect timing. A <laughs> hundred and twenty clams gone through, and we didn't get either of the fish we were looking for. I'm going to see if maybe there's a better time of day or something I can do to increase my odds. You know, one where maybe the other fish don't appear. But I believe the sea bass and the flounder are there 24-7. So that doesn't super help me. It's just, it's going to take so long. Where? I've actually already got a tuna. Beth donated a tuna already to the museum. So technically it's there. But I want it in my, um, my fish library. So I, I want to fill my personal library thingy more than I want to fill the actual museum. So... Grumble, 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 grumble. On the plus side, we've nearly paid off our loan to Tom. Actually, I think we're like 20k away. Um, I've got 250,000 in the bank ish. It's still, it's 50. 55, oh my god, please, I'm praying, I'm praying for tomorrow, if it's even a hundred, I'll take it, it's just not a sub a hundred, please, some people have got like 600, I've not had, oh, I've not had over 110, and I've checked every day this week, twice, in the morning and the afternoon, ah, oh, it's been a sad day, folks, that's wrong, that's my depressed one, there we go, that is perfectly, Perfectly appropriate. Book is deep in thought, isn't he? Right. Thanks, Book. Just randomly gave me a sleeping bag. Watch your game, Bucko. Oh well, I caught a new butterfly. That's something. I can't bring myself to do any more of this today. I just can't. I'm gonna do a little bit of research. Maybe there's a better way to go about this. I don't think there is. I do think I'm doing everything right, and we just have to get luckier at the end of the day. I think that's. I think that is literally it. I'm wondering though if what we could do is go to a Nook Miles thingy. Oh, I got a jukebox by the way. I uh, popped a balloon and a jukebox fell out. It's really cool looking. I'll show you it. It also plays music, so we might put it in the bedroom. Yeah, let's go put it in the bedroom. Um, what's that saying? I don't want to keep doing nothing but fish. <laughs> I love this bedroom so much. It makes me so happy. I'm going to push that there. And we're going to put the jukebox down. I think that's a jukebox playing. <laughs> I mean, I think we can all accept that this is incredibly stylish. One thing we will be doing, um, I've got all the recipes now, I believe. For the different egg stuff. There is so many egg-focused recipes. It's actually nuts. 
So I got all this now. Uh, I think this is the stuff you get for when you collect all of them. So you can see I got the Earth Egg collection, so I got the Egg Party hat, and especially the Egg Party dress. We need a lot if we're going to craft all of it. I don't know if that's humanly possible, but we'll see where we end up. There's still, you know, eight days or something, seven days or something till Bunny Day, so we've got a while to go. But, uh... There's a, there's a lot. One, two, three, four, like, it's five per level, so three... 15, 19, 24, 26, 29, 34 egg day items we have so far to craft. If you have to craft all of them, I'm going to do a little research into that. Don't know how many eggs we actually have. We have a decent amount. I'm trying to keep 10 of each fruit, although I did have pears today and I sold them. I actually made most of my money from selling my pears. Got five fossils. We'll do a fossil episode in the future. We're doing okay on the eggs, must be said. Not bad. Not bad. Anyways, right, we're going to end it there. <clears throat> Thank you for joining me. Nice. Thank you so much for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if anyone has any tips for catching these bloody things, I'm happy to hear them. But I do believe I'm doing everything right. I just need to get a little bit luckier. Blue Marlin and Tuna, they will be mine. But like I said, I am considering going to a Nook Miles Island, running around, scaring away the, all the ocean fish, and that will force spawn fish at the docks. It'll take ages, but at least I won't have to farm clams, you know? Six one half to the other, really. Thanks for joining me. Cheers much as always. Bye-bye.